they're slimy, they're sticky, um, they're wiggly, and th those are all true. Those are what we think of when we hear worm. Tonight we're going to have 29 Fort Worth ISD and some other ISD teachers coming on campus, and we will have part one of a two-part workshop offered through the Andrews Institute of Mathematics, Science, and Technology Education. And this particular workshop is going to be focusing on vermicomposting, or how to compost household garbage using worms. I've been amazed at how simple worm composting really is. The bins that we're actually using, which were donated from City of Fort Worth, are, I think they're around $49 a piece, but the person who gave them to me told me that she almost felt guilty buying them because you can go to Target and buy a Sterilite plastic box and it works equally well. So all you need is a container to put the worms in, to start it up. I didn't know what you would put in a worm composting bin, whether you needed to start with some sort of soil material or leaf litter, and the answer is no. All you need is shredded newspaper and a little bit of water and maybe an apple core. Dump a bunch of worms in there and within a few weeks you've got that paper material being turned into compost that's suitable for putting in your garden. I'm wanting to help the teachers recognize that a lot of the garbage that they throw into their household trash can that ends up going to the landfill could actually be broken down into valuable materials and put in a garden where it's not taking up space in our landfills. By doing it with teachers, I think it's much more, you get a lot more bang for the buck. Rather than hitting just 29 people and getting them excited about composting garbage into good beneficial materials, they can take it back to their classroom and then they can impact hundreds of students every year that come into their classroom. So I'm hoping for a trickle-down effect. 